Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with a video preview of the 13 new dies in our August 2022 release. And you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. So let's start here at the top with the three new dies that we're offering for Halloween. We have a cute new little character set called Skeleton and Bat. Now we get requests frequently to bring back some of my old licensed designs from other companies. This is a smaller version of Midnight the Bat, which is one that is often requested. And you do get that cute little black cat in this set as well. And then we have two new pattern plates. Now these ones we're calling slim pattern plates because they are designed to fit on a mini slim line that's three and a half by six inches long. Now you can definitely expand them by just cutting more of them to cover a bigger card, but they are sized for that mini slim line. So you can definitely use pattern plates to do as you see here, just fill in maybe the front of the card or a background with a lot of pattern quickly. But you can do other techniques. So they make great stencils. You would just die cut the pattern plate, lay it over your project and sponge ink through it. Or you can emboss the pattern plates instead of cutting. So you throw that in your machine with an embossing sandwich and then it's just going to press the pattern into the cardstock. Once again, I just highlighted that with a little ink brushed over the top. Now some pattern plates lend themselves well to being chopped up into individual pieces as well. These two happen to be like that. So those spiders and webs come out very easily with a pair of scissors if you need some individual spiders and webs or same thing, some of those bats you can trim out and use individually as well. So these three new Halloween dies are going to mix in perfectly with our previously released Halloween dies just for some new looks. So here is one by Sandy Diller on our design team using the mini pops pop up to animate the skeleton, but creating a background scene using the Halloween scene die that was previously released. There is a new generic pop up in this collection called the label charm pop up, and that's going to work perfectly with these new Halloween dies. You choose your card size with that die, but a mini slimline is one of the sizes that it works in. So here it is cut into a mini slimline. I've got the bats pattern plate lining this label, spiders back here, and then it all kind of layers together when the card is closed. Now I chose to cut ovals out of the middle of the labels to have them open for pattern plates, but you can also leave them solid. So here's a great Halloween card by Lois on our design team. She's used that new skeleton and bat with the label charm pop-up and the new bats slim pattern plate. And this is a clever hybrid combination by Sandy Diller where she used our landscape rectangle accordion for the card. But then you can see here that she created a little oval cutout with an oval charm decorated with the bat on the second page. And she did that by using those pieces out of the label charm pop-up. And sorry, an overhead camera is not super conducive to showing danglies, but you kind of get the idea of how cute that is dangling in the opening of Sandy's card. You are choosing your card size when you use the label charm pop-up any card size between a width of five to six inches works. This one is a landscape A2. And this is just a little basic cutout to show the pieces in the label charm pop-up. So you do have that option on the center one, whether you want to have it remain a solid label or whether you're going to use the included oval die to cut it out and make it a frame for a dangling charm. And you do get the oval charm as well as those little icons, hearts, star, and flower with the set. Two other new dies in this collection are our Sewing Charms and Word Set 15 Just Because. You get the big word just with a shadow and then you have all these other little words to go behind it. This is a card by Lois using the Label Charm pop-up. You can see how well the just fits on it. In her case, she made it just because and used our Flutter Charms. For this simple note card, Sandy used just a note from this set and then grabbed the to say out of one of our other word sets. So they do coordinate nicely. And this one has hello inside. We have had a lot of requests, including from on our design team to come out with sewing charms. So those are in this release. And here is a card by Lois where she's done a landscape rectangle accordion, but with a solid front. So that's a real clever take on that pop-up. And then you can see all of those fun sewing charms used on the project. There are so many great greetings where you can use the word sew, spelled S-E-W, that allows you to pull in these sewing charms, even if the recipient isn't somebody that likes to sew. So in this case, Sandy's card, Love You Sew, using the label charm pop-up, you know, you really can just have a lot of fun with puns and using those sewing charms. The other new pop-up in this collection is our new fireplace pop-up, and then there are two extras sets to fit it. 
So let's look first at the base die set, the fireplace pop-up. So you get everything that you need to make that pop-up fireplace, and it does include the little dangling Santa's boots as an option. There's an emboss feature and stencil for the brickwork and the wood grain. And then you also get that extra little box pop-up that can be used on top to do mantle decorations, or it can be used to animate the fire for those year-round cards. So the fire and the log come with the base die set as well. You choose your card size and that base die is slimline friendly. If you really want to amp up your fireplaces, then check out the two extras sets. Fireplace Extras 1 has a Christmas theme, so all of those cute little stockings and garland and candles, the fireplace grate and the tools, that all comes in Fireplace Extras 1. So great for those Christmas cards. You might also look at our Holiday House, which works great on the front of the card. And then Fireplace Extras 2 has the items you would use for year-round cards. So you get a different fireplace grate in this one. There aren't any items that duplicate across the two sets, but they work wonderfully when mixed and matched together. So you can really see how some of those pieces would work great for any themed card, Christmas or otherwise. Now you can get clever with your fireplace, make it into something different. Look at what Sandy did. Dude, happy birthday. And then she turned the fireplace into a tool bench by just decorating it with our tool charms, even the little gloves from our garden charms, a mug from our coffee charms. So just really a clever adaptation by Sandy. There have been some other very clever adaptations of the fireplace. Definitely look for those from the design team in the weeks ahead. In our last release, we came out with the third size of our popular pop-up balls. And so, of course, now that we have all three, we had to have a snowman add-ons set. So if you stack all three of our ball sizes, surprise ball, bitty ball, and mini ball, then you add the snowman add-ons and you get a very cool tall snowman. That will spin around on a brad if you choose, and it will collapse down into a five-inch square. And this leads us perfectly to the final three dies in this collection and those are the double ups to fit the three ball sizes. Double ups are going to give you a second set of the most used pieces in each of our ball dies so that you can decorate faster. So in the base dies, you get six individual trapezoids. Now you're going to get a second set, but they're all on one die. Then you also get the inside trapezoids, another hexagon, and then two something else. So whatever was in the set that I thought you would use the most. So in the mini ball, you get a second set of eyeballs. Now for the bitty ball and the surprise ball, not only are you getting your connected outside trapezoids, making it very easy to cut those, you can also go through two layers and get everything for one ball at one time and an extra hexagon, but you're getting new pieces, which are your inside trapezoids to fit those two balls. So that inside trapezoid is something we added to the mini ball, but we didn't have it in the first two. For the bitty ball, you get an extra bear ear and you get an extra smile. And then for the surprise ball, you get the extra hearts. And just a quick thank you and shout out to Kim Kopp for suggesting this idea. On our last retailer Zoom meeting, she mentioned that it would be great, especially for people who teach classes or are just making a lot of cards all at once, to be able to have those decorator pieces in duplicate form. So there you have it, 13 new dies in our August 2022 release. We always ship to stores first and the store orders are shipping out this week. So you might check with your favorite local or online retailer to find out about availability. Otherwise, you can order from our website, karenberniston.com, starting next Monday, September 5th, 2022. Thanks for watching. <music>